Highness, independence might not be in the cards for Arabia. Oil is increasingly valuable to the powerful nations of the world, including America. What stops them from occupying Arabia to protect it once Saxony is gone? We're not Europa, Commander. America is not an imperialist nation. We're not in the business of occupying countries for our own gain. There are American troops in Alaska as we speak, and it doesn't look like they're leaving anytime soon, does it, Captain? It is true. We are weak today. But it wasn't always like this. We once led the world in science. All the stars in the sky bear Arabic names. From Washington to Dresden, you all use our numbers to count. Our history is the world's history. But now, our land is seen as nothing but a price to claim. A stepping stone for the ambitions of others. The world has passed us by. I want to change that. Saxony must be repelled. Then we can build a society no longer stifled by the old traditions. I believe the arrangement suggested by Nikola Tesla could help us stand on our own feet again. However, Tesla can't defeat the Saxonians for us. America could. But I won't allow any foreign troops in Arabia once Saxony has been expelled. Can you promise me that Arabia is not trading one occupier for another when I ask America for help? I'll make sure that Union forces leave once the job is done. I know the sort of people his father works with. Maybe the captain thinks he can outsmart them or cut their strings once he's in the White House. But he can't. He can't beat them at their own game. If you become president with Fenris's help, they could destroy your presidency at any time. You'd be their puppet. You have my word. I trust you. We are not our families. It's our own actions that define who we are. Listen up, everyone. The city of Aqaba is our main objective. But we have to deal with this first. An old fortress being used as a defensive position. It is possible to try to force our way through it, but it might be better to flank and attack them from behind. Scouts report there is a small gap within their AA coverage. We could land a small force and use them to fight our way through to this position, which should make storming the fort a whole lot easier. We've also received reports that there's an enemy airbase here, so we can expect heavy air resistance coming towards us from that direction. By the end of the day, we'll raise the flag of the Free Tribe on the Saxonian flagpole. Yes! There it is! Yes! Down with Saxony! So be it! Capturing the city will send a message to everyone in Arabia. We will show that the Saxonians are not unbeatable, and together, we will reclaim our freedom! Now, let's kick some ass! Let's go! Not even the sky's the limit when there's money to be made. Dialing in! On my way! Captain Mason here! Deploying Exo! Exo's coming through! Tell me there's a plan! Suiting up! I suppose I need it! Tell me there's a plan! once when this is over you'll have to tell me about that not today send it
Z. Maybe they are here to join us. No, that's my uncle's back. We need to go now. Whoa. Some civil war going on, looks like. By decree of His Majesty King Khalid of Arabia, I hereby declare Princess Sita, her rebels, and her foreign co conspirators prisoners of His Highness. You will be escorted to His Excellency, Saxonian Governor of Arabia, General von Schlunheim. Captain Mason and his men are free to go. I didn't think. <laughs> This was my fault. I should have realized your judgment would be clouded by naive ideals and a pretty face. You lack focus. I'll have to limit your leeway in the future. We were about to... Our people talked to King Khalid and made him a better offer than the Saxonians. In three days, he will officially ask America for military assistance and an ongoing presence to provide security and stability in the region. You will lead our forces to free Arabia from Saxony. And the princess and her freedom fighters? These people are no freedom fighters. They're criminals. Saxony will execute them to uphold law and order, and King Khalid will use the murder of his niece as reason to turn his back on the Saxonians. But why? We captured Aqaba. Princess Sita would have united the people behind her. She could throw Saxony out and become the rightful ruler of Arabia. And then what? We leave and she sells us oil at whatever price she sees fit? You want to make the Union dependent on them? But it's their country! And why wouldn't they cooperate as allies once we've helped them? When we show them what liberty is, when we lead by example. The world will benefit from our principles. But standing on principle isn't enough. Neither are the latest auto machines or all of Arabia's oil. More than anything, we need a president who will do what is required to build something greater, a new world order. We'll make the 20th century America's century. I see. We want the same thing, William. But I know what success requires. You will not disobey me again. You will forget about these people. Dismiss them. Pinker, gather our boys. I need to talk with them. Why not talk with them in the air, Captain? The ship is manned and ready. We don't leave our friends behind, right, Captain? I need you to do something. This is treason, you know. The 
That's why I need your help. Civil War, yes! Every faction in this game have a civil war. That's crazy. All of you already know why we're here. The situation is... Captain! Over there! Lower your weapons. We are here to help you. Are you with the Free Tribe? No, but we saw you help Princess Sita capture al -Akhaba. If you are going to help her, then we are here to help you. Show me your map. Our princess is being held prisoner here on the mountain. Your friends are locked up down here in a Saxonian base. They are to be executed at sunrise. Not if I have anything to say about it. Our friends, those who fought and bled with us, need our help. Don't let them down! Enemy units detected. Waiting for instructions. Engaging! back we can assign blame later we need to free princess sita first she's being held in the mountaintop palace gear up and get ready there will be resistance samson here exo squad here consider it done Looking for work. What is it? All over it. Here to see is true. Captain Mason here. Agreed. Waiting for orders. All right. Forward. Not good. What is he? What's the next move? On the way. Status. What's broken? Destroyer on the way. Assemble vehicles here. Carry ready. Movement underway. Captain Mason here. Exo squad here. Ready and willing. What is it? Better get going. Captain Mason here. Enemy, Enemy detected. They're coming. Destroyer, each of them break enemy lines. Come on, oh, the bastards. One of our structures is under attack. Revere airship inbound. New stationary. Troops ready. What is it? On the way. Staging exo turret. Awaiting fresh orders. Mission standing by. Need something. Pe we'll What's fix the it next fast. Move? Weapons green. Samson moving out. Destroyer ready. Let's get going. The units fit to make destroyers here to fight. A bunch of them there. I am under attack. Waiting for us. Orders, 
weaponry ready. We're listening. Dandy. Instructions. Weapons green. Looking for work. Hey now. Infantry ready. Cover, eh? Okay. Never thought I'd be seeing the world through a gun sight.
something big making with the destroyer and die. Sita, thank God you're all right. Arrest him. I swear I knew nothing about my father's deal with your uncle. A liar, like all Westerners. I believe him. You wanted to judge people by their actions. What do his actions tell you? He disobeyed his own father to come back for us. Dust in the West, Max approaching. Here we go.
so good. They can't keep this up forever. They'll have to go all in. Prepare for the final push. I am under the enemy units to take the
the final one. Here we go. We we won. We really won. And we will do it again and again. But this fight is far from over. Tend to the wounded. Then gather anything useful and prepare to leave. Why did you come back? Freedom. Justice for all. They're not just slogans. I swore an oath to defend America from her enemies, foreign and domestic. And America's enemies aren't here. They'll throw you in prison. Or worse. I have to go back. It's like Avatar the movie as well. Similar concept, similar story. before Tesla's mechs arrive. Soon, I'm sure. That man is known for his miracles. Very good. While we fight Saxony, I want to begin educating my people. We can't stand shoulder to shoulder with Europa through warfare alone. That is true. We can recruit from the Bedouin to help at Tesla's factory. There's much to learn there that they can take home. Do you think we'll make it? It's going to be a long fight. But yes, I do. Fear can't keep people down forever. What's going to happen to Will? He'll be hanged for treason, most likely. Or he becomes president. Huh? Americans, uh, they have tremendous affection for their heroes. Sometimes it just takes them a while to realize who their heroes are. Breaking news. WOSU has just confirmed reports of a covert military expedition overseas involving some of our nation's most senior officials. Shocking revelations indicate that Admiral Mason and other Washington power brokers orchestrated the venture. All documented by photographs, telegrams, and sworn testimony by none other than Captain William Mason, the Admiral's own son. Our very own Randolph Wells was an eyewitness to the events. Tell us what you saw, Randolph. Captain Mason exposed a plot to use the Union military to leverage lucrative business opportunities for Washington insiders in what some have labeled a military-industrial complex. Shocking news indeed. In related news, the President will address the nation this evening and present his new stance on foreign policy in light of these revelations. Holy smokes, I think that was the end guys, uh, well, there was no D-Day, so I'm kinda sad. I expected more epicness, but we'll get what we get. Overall, yeah, it's a good continuation to the story. I wonder what other faction are they gonna add? Type your prediction in the comment section. I mean, as long as Famris is alive, I think they keep gonna add DLCs, so we're probably gonna see another faction in future. Paris is the evil corporation. But yeah, overall, nice DLC. It's definitely not a copy-paste faction. There were some different units uh, with unique abilities. Story, well, not childish as the previous one. I mean, why I think this campaign was more mature compared to the original Iron Harvest campaign? Because it was less fictional and with a bit more reality. Usonia enters to the Middle East. Original plan was the oil. Government agrees to cooperate, but there is some rebellions similar to the real life. And what's extremely similar, America actually started trading oil with Middle East uh, around 1928. So developers got extremely inspired by the real history of the world, which is completely fine. As you know, in real life, the paratroopers first seen in 1942. So that means they was also getting inspired by the World War II stuff as well. Just a little bit. Originally, I was expecting a D-Day with Max. The paradrop at the beginning of the campaign reminded me D-Day, kind of. And clearly it was inspired by the US military of the World War II period. Even parachute designs are the same. 
But yeah, later the story completely shifted. This DLC was extremely political, not gonna lie. That's a good thing, because reality hurts. Gameplay wise, uh, nothing changed. Units are still a bit not responsive. They do not react fast enough. Comparing to the Company of Heroes 2, King Art Games definitely needs to improve its game mechanics more and more before adding new content. And I hope it will happen as time passes by. So yeah, guys, that was it. Tell me in the comment section what you think about this DLC. If you didn't watch the original Iron Harvest campaign, click at the link in the comment section. I will pin the comment. And yeah, peace out.